My mother was a nurse growing up, so I had that medical background right from the beginning. Um, I also had the background from my father. My father, although he owned a motorcycle store growing up, which has nothing to do with medicine, he was captain of the ambulance corps. And uh, he actually at 14 got me involved with the ambulance corps. It made me start riding on an ambulance from the time I was 14. I um, knew I wanted to be a doctor from the time I was a little kid. In fact, um, my grandfather was first generation American. He came from, his parents came from Austria and Hungary. And he told me I had two options when I was a little kid. It was either to be a doctor or a rabbi. Um, there was no way I was going to become a rabbi, so medicine is what I picked. Uh, in my second year of medical school, I met a, an orthopedic surgeon who was a joint replacement surgeon in Maryland. And he said to me, Russ, why don't you come spend a day with me and see what doing joint replacements are like? I had no exposure to it at all. And I just fell in love with it instantly. And I came home that day and said, that's what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. And I n never looked back since. It was just the perfect blend of people, patients, and the need for doctors. And there's nothing more rewarding than being needed. I did over 550 joint replacements, hip and knee replacements, which is unheard of in the country. Since then, I do now somewhere around 800, 900 joint replacements a year. It's just a wonderful place to be and practice medicine. I could not be luckier to be here in Las Vegas. Medicine comes in different aspects. Part of it is taking care of patients, which I love, and I think it's the biggest honor in the world to do. But the other part is being creative and making medicine better for the future, and we have a responsibility to do that. I do a lot of that through lecturing and, and inventing. Um, I have a few patents. One of the ones that I'm proud of is the e Libre device. The Libre device is a force sensor. It's a device that tells you how much force is on the ligaments. And I developed, um, with Sinvasive at the time, a way that we can actually put a special little sensor between the bones and read how much force is on so we know how much material to actually put in a patient's knee. It's been a wonder wonderful device. I've had the great pr privilege of presenting it all over the world, including Hawaii, Belgium, Italy. been to Italy twice. I've actually done live surgery in Italy, teaching surgeons in Milan how to do this surgery. So that's been a wonderful experience. The way to cut the shin bone, we use special devices called jigs and using a laser form so to get more accurate cuts. Um, we're all, I'm also working on a special type of uh, um, a non-cemented knee, and I think this is really going to be revolutionary, and it came right out of the brainchild, my brainchild here out of Las Vegas. And uh, non-cemented knees are going to be the wave of the future, and this is one without question that's going to work, and companies are already looking at purchasing, which is nice. I've been taught from a very young age that to save a life, you save the world. And if you can teach somebody to save one life, then you're saving more than the world. It's exponential. I love to have faculty and orthopedic surgeons from around the world come in and learn the techniques that we use here, the advanced techniques that we use to make knee and hip replacements as successful as possible. But one of my fortes and loves is to help when things don't go the way we want them to go and to help when cases are too complex for most surgeons to do. In this case, with this professional basketball player, I had to take out his entire thigh bone, the hip, the knee, and everything. I had to correct that and give him back what's called a total femur. So he ended up with a hip replacement, a knee replacement, and his entire thigh bone is now made out of metal as well. I got to watch him walk across the court uh, with his total femur in him. So that is an ultimate, ultimate, um, uh, success story in my mind and nothing could be better. I live for the future but I live for today. I have a beautiful family, a beautiful wife. I want to live happy. I want to take care of people. I want to see medicine get better and better. I can't be thankful enough and I hope that I can help bring the level of medicine up to a level that's bar none better than anywhere else in the world. He's one of the most innovative leaders I have ever had the opportunity to work with. Every single day is a, a day that you bring so much happiness to every patient. And you're an, an inspiration to us all. One thing about Dr. Nevins that I can say is that he's fearless. We're very proud and privileged to have Dr. Nevins on our medical staff. And I hope this year that my team will beat you and your son's team in fantasy football. On behalf of Spring Valley Hospital and SEMEC, I want to thank you for everything you've done for us. It's an honor and privilege to be working with you. No one is more deserving than you. Congratulations again. Dr. Nevins, you are so deserving of this award because you rock!